DataBand provides the only proactive approach to data observability, so we can catch bad data before it impacts your business, resulting in more reliable and trustworthy data. So starting off, you'll see that this is the DataBand reliability dashboard. This is where I can see all my top pipeline errors, failures, successes, everything that I'm connected into for a data pipeline, such as maybe Apache Airflow. So here's an error that I'll take a look at here in a minute, but you can also see down below, we give you your pipeline statistics. So this service 311 get data, you can see the run counts on this, the average run duration. And I can also set up metrics to understand and detect any data anomalies within this pipeline. So for example, this little red dot over here shows me on May 22nd that there was an issue with the pipeline. And if I drill into the DAG, I can actually see exactly where the error occurred. And in this example, I can pinpoint that the root cause was this get hourly data request. And if I go to the left side over here, I can then drill into the details to see why this actually failed. And you can see that this 404 error showed me that we couldn't retrieve that particular service. For a level of deeper data monitoring, we can click the affected data sets tab to understand where this data set has impacted other data sets within the ingestion process. So for example, I can look to see what was successful in past histories, but then drill into the table to discover where that failed operation occurred. In this example, it's that same 311 API service that had failed. Then we can see all the read and writes that did not get executed from that failed data set. I can go back and look at historical runs to see what a successful ingestion process looks like and all the different schemas that are incorporated with each data set. So if we look into a particular data set, we can see all the metadata that we're collecting and all the profile techniques that we're doing for each individual column and field type. This allows us to input any type of anomaly detection or alerting around any of the metadata that we're pulling into the system, such as null records or record counts that appear too high or too low. Now we're gonna go over to the alert section where you'll be able to see where you can set custom alerts and notifications, either organizing them by severity and scheduling things like Slack notifications or pager no duty notifications around the most important issues that need to be fixed by data engineering. The last part is going into the actual data set itself. So now if I go and I look at the hourly data path, I'll be able to see how the data set trends and issue summaries for each of these particular data sets. So I can understand how many daily rows are being written or read, the daily operations, and also an issue summary of all the schema changes or failed operations that are associated with this particular data set. And lastly, we can tie back all the data set lineage and affected data sets in one view that encapsulates both downstream and upstream impacts of any data sets you're monitoring.